Apparently the dog thought that sounded a lot like a doorbell. Did that sound like a doorbell more? I love the frequency of this bowl. I'm not gonna lie. Love it a lot. Welcome to the world of KC. That's right. Tarot Tuesday is back. More. That's enough. It is Tarot Tuesday. It is also November 3rd, 2020, Election Day. So, instead of doing a generic tarot read for whoever might be watching this out there, like I did the last two times, I'm going to do one for the election. This tarot read is for the future of the United States of America. All my readings are past, present, and future. So, let's see what election night has in store for us. Or election, election would be present, so that would be the present. So, we'll see what I, we'll see what the future shows as well. Be interesting, very interesting. All right. Cut that deck. Morphe. Come here. Come here. Come lay down. You stop. I don't know what you're barking at out there. All right. Oh, oh, you know what? No wonder this is already off. You are barking at just random stuff, and I didn't sage this tarot reading yet, did I? No, I did not. No, I did not. For you guys out there. And for my puppy who's barking at something outside the front window. Yes. Yes. And for me, because mm, of, well, you know, it's funny. People like to talk about how they're, ooh, I don't like to talk about politics. It's so negative, blah, 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 blah. It's not politics to me. It's life. If you're literally voting for laws that affect your life, or the life of those around you. Which is why I make sure I'm voting accordingly for my brown and black friends, my Asian friends, my LGBTQIA community friends, you know. I may look like a white cis man, but uh, I don't feel like I am. Cheers. Hope you guys can't hear my tummy rumbling today. Here. Made some tea from the herb store here in Albuquerque, uh, New Mexico. They got amazing tea. I just used the last of my oolong tea to help settle my stomach today. So I mean, I've obviously got to make a trip uh, across town this week uh, to hit up the herb store. But yeah, if you're in Albuquerque and you need really good loose with tea, tarot cards, anything holistic or to help. That's where I picked up the sage. Anything to help get your mind right and your spirit right and feel more connected. Stop by the herb store. I'll put their address in, in the links. All right. Let's start. Past. <sighs> wow. This is very interesting and uh, accurate. Past. It's an upside down pentagram. Some would say the mark of the beast. Some think it's spiritual and paganism. Uh, anytime you take a symbol and put too much behind a symbol, that's when it turns rotten anyway. So I don't care what your symbol is. You put too much energy behind a symbol, 
you're no you're not you're now worshiping that symbol and the, the symbol itself means nothing so uh past yeah pentagram upside down showing evil deeds showing chaos showing discord showing an unbalance in the universe and nature in the world uh and a separation between all that was all that was balanced basically in a, a clear a clear separation between sides here uh so yeah and that's what we did we v voted in trump four years ago or some of you did uh and this is the card of swords so yeah we were definitely cut this country was cut deep and hard by voting in trump upside down pentagram made of swords so uh yeah that card's very telling but for those of us who paid attention the last four years we already know uh yes so this is a both tarot read and a political post deal with it all right present gain look at that pretty card look at that pretty card mm -mm -mm. lot going on here uh you got the light rays of intelligence and of the universe uh everything coming back into balance here uh the light represents you know knowledge uh and wisdom uh yeah and, and like like one of the best things i ever heard that i love to repeat is knowledge is easily gained wisdom is knowing what to do with that knowledge so difference between knowledge and wisdom so just take that into account uh you got you got uh, you got the three. You got a Holy Trinity going on here on this card. Uh, you got kings and queens and paupers and uh, and uh, just you know and priests and the sun and the moon and things are you know everything's uh, with with a calming energy, with a healing energy. A motherly maybe energy kind of thing you know nurturing loving caring energy uh, so this is what we need right now in the present with with everybody out there voting we need we need balance we need to bring the balance back but not just that go out there with a nurturing loving caring compassionate energy and you'll receive the same out there while you're out there voting uh, but this is this is this is bringing bringing things from all corners bringing things all from all corners uh in in a divine pattern in in divine recognition and uh bringing things back into balance so that's what this present card is telling me we are about to bring things back into harmonious balance maybe not perfect harmony i mean you know, we are still humans. This is still America. We still got to deal with the racism in this country, along with a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, let's see what card number three has. Ready? Uh-oh. Sorrow. A lot of darkness. A lot of darkness in this card and sorrow. There's going to be a lot of unhappy people. There's a sword and some knives coming together at the center of a rose. So, uh, though some people are going to be happy with the outcome of this election, there are going to be... There's going to be a lot of unhappy people and it's going to be they're going to be pointing their anger at those of us that are happy with this election so we will uh, uh i see a lot of turmoil i see a lot of uneasiness and uh unrest 
So, uh, yeah, what, what is that on the end of the sword? Is that like a seahorse? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're in for some troubled times. I have a feeling this is uh, almost immediate and in the next few days, too, or next weeks. So uh, there's going to be a lot of contention over this election, but we already knew that. I didn't need a tarot card to tell me that this is a contentious election and that lots of people are going to be hurt over this. And some of them may act out in violent, horrible manners. Please don't be violent. Please don't be mean to each other. Show each other some kindness and patience and respect right now. So that way, maybe our future present can be harmonious and balanced and beautiful instead of dark and angry. And we maybe we can get out of this evil past. That's, you know, hey, hey, don't blame me. Blame the cards. This is... Yeah, this is the way tarot cards go sometimes. But, uh, uh, and unfortunately with me, they've always been kind of pretty accurate, uh, which is why I don't do them for people a lot, because people get upset. Uh, but uh, it, it, it is, it is what it is. I mean, look, that's how we voted in the past. And here's how we're voting in the present. And people in the future who, a lot of them voted for this guy in the past, are going to be upset if he loses, are going to act out in uncontrollable, violent, angry ways. And uh, so just be, be cautious. Be aware of that out there. Be aware of your surroundings, please, out there over the next few weeks. Um, because, you know what? I, I'm not going to lie. These people are already emotionally unstable and unhinged as it is. So please be safe. Thank you for everyone who watched this or shared it or liked or comment, whether you liked it or not or hate me, doesn't matter. Uh, thank you for everyone who voted. I don't care what side of the party or a third party or whatnot. Actually, you third, third party people, you should have been voting for not a third party president because that's a waste of a vote. We all know that. But And we can't, we can't fix the system from the outside with this third party system and make it a full third, fourth party system like it needs to be until we fix it from the inside. So we need to make term limits for Senate and Congress and all of that stuff and get Mitch McConnell and those evil, evil fucks out of there. Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, so just thank you for everyone who went out and voted. If you haven't gone out and voted, please get your butt out of the house and go vote, make a plan, look up exactly where your voting station is and go vote. It's your right. It's your duty as a United States of America citizen. So uh, good luck, US of A out there. I'm rooting for you. I'm obviously not rooting for the Trump cult out there. Uh, Y'all are just being stupid and acting like ignorant assholes. So there you go. Anyway, much love. We'll see you another time on another tarot reading from the world of KC which hopefully will be more positive.